Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday we're actually getting stuck into building the benches for Stoke Prior School and that's coming up next. <laughs> Now last week I showed you how I got all the bits together and had designed the uprights for the benches for the first school at Stoke Prior. This week I'm building the first bench which was for them to have a look at, find out whether it was what they wanted in terms of height and width and positioning and then we could go on uh, and I'll show you in the third video how we build the rest of the benches once this one's been approved. But this is the first one that was built after I'd arrived back at Menin Sheds with all the materials. I'd started off chopping up bits of CLS timber for the um, base and underside of the benches. This is being used um, both to space the benches from the wall and on top to actually take the the benches themselves and hold the slats together. So there were quite a lot of cuts to make. I think I had about 40 or 50 of the uh, small short lengths, about 200 mil um, for the top of the benches that uh, supported the slats and some of the intermediate uh, feet underneath and there were some longer ones cut which were, as I say, also to space the units off the wall. And then the uh, benches were starting to be assembled. I'd already ripped it to, um, to width. I'd changed the design slightly. Originally I was going to go for a 90mm timber. Um, but the stuff I found was about 140 and what that did was enable me to rip it lengthways into a, a, a 90 mil and a piece that was just less than uh, 50 and that gave me the down stands front and back so that for two pieces, two lengths of the CLS uh, sorry, two lengths of the uh, decking board I could actually make a full length of bench then there was a laborious job of pocket holing the um, supports uh, that took pretty much uh, half the morning getting these things done because there are four pocket holes on each side of the uprights. And having done that, then um, they had to be screwed together, the two, two halves of the upright. So again, that was another load of uh, screwing together. This is the cross supports, the short CLSs being attached to the underside of the deck boards, which, as I say, gave me the main bench support, main bench itself. And then it was um, a little job to put the lipping on front, back and at, at the ends wherever necessary. And this was the, uh, the first bench, so there was only two sides and one end to do. But it gave me a, a rough idea of how to go about doing it. The, for the later benches I changed slightly. Um, with this one I left the one rounded edge at the bottom and then went round with the Katsu router and took the top edge off to round it off um, in subsequent ones because of the hole drilling getting in the way of the routing I actually put the uh, the rounded edge at the top and then went along the bottom of the uh, panels so it's again it's worth this making one of something first to, to get a feel for it 
and then you can decide whether or not it's the right way of doing jobs. And if you do make a mistake or you get something wrong, um, you can correct it later on in, in the others. As it happened, I think, in the... Uh, there's an opposite hand bench which is identical to this which I seem to have managed to assemble exactly the same way around so that I've got two left hands but um, we got round that one in the later build. This is where again it's useful to have the men in sheds unit because these pieces are 2.4 meters long and although I can work with them in the shed it becomes very difficult trying to uh, lug a whole bench length around. And once the lippings are put on you can see that it pretty much hides the support timbers underneath um, so that they're not at all visible. As usual, the old uh, Guild drill and driver giving sterling service, although it's been demoted to the drill I take out on jobs rather than the one I use in the shed most of the time. It's uh, still providing a great, uh, great service to me, and that's the mock-up of the leg that I was using just to check that it was all the right size. And there was the job of screwing all the pairs of leg supports together. And uh, it probably the self weight of all the screws will be uh, enough to hold the benches down. I probably won't need to screw them to the floor because there's that many screws in them. Um, there is a slight problem with using the decking timber in that it's not necessarily flat, so you do get a certain amount of cupping. Um, that the the timbers are slightly curved, but uh, screwing them together seems to have done the job and held them together okay. By this time, I'd managed to get someone helping me, which uh, I'm not quite sure whether it aided or abetted. Uh, or slowed me down but um, it's nice to have the company while you're working just checking there to make sure that the uh, I could actually get the drill driver in. Um, one of the problems with the correct Craig screws is that there's quite a long piece that you add into the driver and it's it means I've got to get a short length one to actually fit them to the, the legs because once the bottom is on it's going to be difficult to get the uh, the driver in so I think I've got to put the leg the support on the bottom first when when I build them the final set and then attach them up to the underneath of the bench because doing it the way uh, I'm doing here and putting them the leg on afterwards, the bottom on afterwards, I won't be able to get it uh, the driver in with a proper 
Craig screw at the time I was using the uh, Turbo Gold switch as I mentioned in a later video are not the right ones to be using with pocket holes you can see the top edge still needs rounding off with the Katsu it's quite a sharp corner on it at the moment And there's the finished uh, bench when I've got it home, which again was proving to be a problem getting it in and out of the car and in and out of the workshop because it becomes much bigger in section when you've added the legs on. And it just about fits in lengthways. There's a bit of um, man doing two things at once. Who says men can't multitask? And the, this is the bench in its trial fit position uh, in the children's changing area. Well I'm happy to say they were happy with the bench it was uh, exactly what they needed we've done a small alteration to the rear um, support so that they're a little bit closer to the wall and that's important because it does mean that the bench along the back wall is slightly wider so I'm, I'm glad we did the one just so they could have a look at it first um, and then next week we can get on and complete the benches finish them uh, put some sort of a stain on them get them fitted and hopefully they'll be installed so I look forward to seeing you then take care bye